Now, if you realize how important this opportunity is for you, you would run in here. You would run in here. Because this is a life uh, changing opportunity for you. If you want to go up, if you want to be something, if you haven't made up your mind yet, whether you want to go to college or trade school or whatever in that, the one thing you do know, or you should know, is that you cannot afford to just walk around. Walking around after high school is not an answer. When you get out of high school, it's too late to be keep on saying, then I don't know what I want to do. No, you got to find out now what you want to do. And you have to see what those options are, or choices you have, so you can make the best choice for you. Now, if you don't make a choice about what you want to do after high school, you might end up locked into a life of minimum wage jobs. And if, if that is the case, it won't be the $10 an hour that you make now. It'll be less than that. Because the minimum wage job in Pennsylvania today pay like $7.25 an hour. Now if you want to keep making the $10 an hour or even more, then you got to pay attention and make good choices about what you're going to do after high school. And in some of your cases, while you're in high school, because what they're going to share with you is some stuff some of you can start doing right now. You don't have to wait till you get out of high school to decide. So if you're serious and you don't want to be uh, locked into a life of poverty, minimum wage, low wage jobs, education is your way out of that. Whether you learn a trade, a craft, a skill, or get a, a college degree in something. But no one is gonna give it to you. You gotta work for it. And you gotta pay attention to opportunities that they're going to, pre like they're going to present to you so that you can do that. Now, uh, those of you who wanted to, to have a uh, driver's permit but no license, let me see your hand. If you have a driver's permit but no license, Okay. Okay, we're going to help you get your driver's license so you can get to the community college, so you can get to a job. It's those kind of things I'm talking about. It's learning. No one's going to put you behind the wheel and let you drive and you don't know what to do. It, it, it ain't as simple as putting the key in there and turning it on and taking off. No, it's a lot of other stuff that goes into it. But you got to help yourself to be able to do that. And I use that as just one example. You want to learn how to drive. Okay, same thing with your career. You got to learn which way you get ready to drive, to chart your course. And that's what they're going to share with you. I want to introduce to you my friend and partner and colleague, someone I met when she was in like eighth or ninth grade. Eighth or ninth grade. Okay, she came here to interview me. And she ended up bringing kids here all the time. And while she was a student here, still in high school, she helped me prepare financial aid applications for the other students, <coughs> excuse me, who want to go to college. She did the application for me. She helped me write grants to do walking in black history. And uh, she's always worked here. She has a degree in communications. She, she won every scholarship that Barron had to offer. Every scholarship that they had to offer. She ended up going back to the college. She graduated from the work. She went to work for him. Now she worked for another college. I call her a superwoman. Yeah. <laughs> she, she from Eritrea. And uh, I call her sister who is under her, my number one student. 
she was my number one student, but I would tell her sister that so she would have something to work hard for. And her sister was a straight A student at that, a straight A student. That's why I can recognize those of you who are serious about your learning even right now. I know some of you who really want to help your family. You got to start with yourself. Those some of you want to build your mom a house, <clears throat> buy your dad a car, buy yourself one. You know no one is just going to give it to you. You got to work for it. And a part of that working for it is being educated to be able to do that. Uh, I'm going to ask Wala to introduce her colleague and I'm going to get out to you all the way. But the last thing, would you introduce this guy to? Or let me introduce him. You know him? Yes, oh, stand up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and then I'm going to get out and just take some pictures. Cass Wright is a guy I've known a long time. He didn't got more kids' money to go to college than I can remember. Who would have done on track? The program I have on track, the career program in that. He wrote it. He gave it to us. He wrote it. He got a program now, the Erie School District buying it. <coughs> he going to bring it over here. It's to help get you prepared for college. He a genius. <laughs> he used to be an assistant principal at Wilson, yeah. at Strong Vincent. Any yes, other sir. school? Wilson, Strong Vincent, Roosevelt. And Roosevelt. Yep. Hey, dude can do everything. <laughs> and that, but he can help you get the money that they can or they won't or they don't have. They can pass you off to him to help you earn, get, be able to pay that $60,000 to go to college and not take the free class after you take the free class that they provide. And then you want to go where it costs forty dollars and $60,000 to go? That's why it's a partnership. They got resources. He here to see who wants his help too in that. But again, uh, this is my friend Cass Wright, my partner and my friend Walla. And I, I excuse me, I just forgot your name and I don't, Elise. you know. It's okay. Okay. Elise, okay. But Walla will introduce her and I'm gonna get out of the way. Thank you so much. Nice to you.
the assistance. When I was here, I got the help to apply for colleges, for jobs, and I made it here. So if I can make it, if I can do it, each one of you can too. But it takes hard work, it takes, it takes determination, you know? You gotta be willing and committed to um, take your life seriously and work hard and move on in life and become somebody, right? You can all do it. Do you believe you can do it? Yes! Ah, uh, mm, that, that's, that's low energy right here. Do you believe you can do it? Yes! All right, okay, I know, and I believe in each one of you. So, now, already, as I said, move forward from here. I do currently serve on the board of directors for the Urban Erie Community Development Corporation, the C.F. Smith Quality of Life Learning Center. Just kind of helping giving back and giving back to the young people here in the community and adults. And I wanted to be able, just like I got the help and support, I want to be able to give back and um, help you uh, with my team here, with my partner. We wanted to make sure that we uh, provide you the resources and the tools and kind of explain to you about the programs that we offer um, to see if you are interested. Okay? So, um, with that being the case, I will introduce to you Ms. E and she will um, take the floor from here and talk to you about our programs. Thank you, Ola. Thank you. It's so good to be with y'all this morning, okay? Um, when I see you, I see myself when I was in your shoes, which wasn't too, too long ago. Sometimes, but not too, too long ago, okay? When I was thinking about going to college, I wasn't sure exactly where I wanted to go, what I wanted to do. Is that anybody else in the room? Who's thinking about going to college? <clears throat> yeah? Where are you thinking about? Shout them out at me. Gannon. Gannon. Penn State. Penn State. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Mercyhurst. Where else? Tampa. Tampa? You're going to go where it's warm. All year round. Texas. Texas, okay. Great. So the great thing about community college, we're very different from a lot of the places that you just mentioned, okay? At community college, students are trained to either go right out into the workforce, right? You get those skills that Gary was talking about, or you go to a four-year institution like the ones you just named, the Penn States, the Edinburgh's, the Mercyhurst, the Gannon, all right? No matter where you decide to attend, the first two years of school are all about your general education classes, okay? And when I say general education classes, what do you think those might look like? Math, science, Math, science absolutely. What else? English, history, yes, yes. Every student has to take those. No matter if you're at Harvard, Slippery Rock, Edinburgh, she's proud Penn State, I'm proud Slippery Rock. Two-time grad, right? Two-time grad and was just the commencement speaker at that too, all right? So, I say that to say, if you decide to start with us, right, there's an opportunity for you to get the tuition free of charge. How many of us like free things? Okay, right? right? We all like free things. Okay? Our tuition right now is free for students. So how many of you are 17? Can I get a feel for who's in the space? All right. Who's 18? All right. Who's soon to be 18? Like in the next six months. Next six. Okay. All right. <laughs> Wait a minute, they're calling you out. <laughs> so, for those of you who are thinking about that soon for you, that next step is soon for you, let's say you decide to go on to those colleges. You should still consider us. Why? Because of what I just mentioned. Those general education classes can transfer to those larger institutions. Okay? And even when you're home in the summer, a lot of times when I was home from Slippery Rock, I was working in the summer, but I also knocked out some of the other classes and credits that I needed to achieve to get my, I got my bachelor's in English literature. Okay? So I was taking those general education classes in my hometown, and the closest place was Westmoreland County Community College for those classes to transfer. So I took statistics. 
hated math, okay? So I wanted to dedicate more time to that when I just could focus on that. Because during the semester, how many classes do you think a, the average college student takes during a semester? Six, four, six, four. four is the minimum. Four is the minimum, okay? That's about 12 credits. The cool thing about community college is the minimum is one, okay? So if you wanted to be part-time, you could take two. If you're full-time, you take four, all right? But if you want to keep going and you want to, again, take those summer classes, you take about two in the summer with us. And again, like I said, transfer them on, okay? So I don't want you to think, leave this presentation here thinking, well, I'm already going to XYZ, my heart's set on it, I can't really consider the community college. You can. If you're the student, I won't have you raise your hand on this one, who isn't sure if college is for them. I didn't even think I was going to go to college when I was in your shoes. I was like, yeah, I like playing basketball, I like hanging out, you know. And then my English teacher said to me, you should, and you will, and you can, and we're going to make it happen. Because I had folks like these people around telling me, and that's what got me to where I am today. And now I'm studying for a doctoral degree, okay? So that's something, can I get right back to you? That's something that you can do as well. I'm no different, no better. We're no different, no better than you. If I had, again, like the opportunity that we were saying earlier, the opportunity that you have before you, I would, I'm very envious of you to have exposure to this and have the opportunity to have your tuition covered and to achieve some credits before you even get to college, right? So if you are that student who doesn't know what they want to do yet, try us on for size. Why? Because it will give you a taste of what it's like to study for a very low cost. Because if you decide at, to attend some of our neighborhood friends, that's going to cost you a lot in the pocketbook, OK? Unless it sounds like you're working with my friend here, who will be able to help you out, right? But community college is new to the area. We're literally heading into our second year of ever existing. And so it's important to me that I first equip you with what even a community college is and how it's different from our four-year institution neighborhood friends like Gannon and Mercyhurst and Penn State. Okay. But we're just as good, even though we're new, the new kids on the block. Everybody has access to get the education that we have available. We offer an associate's degree. Okay, so there's an associate's degree, a bachelor's degree, a master's degree, and a doctoral degree. How long do you think an associate's degree takes to achieve? Two. If you're a full-time student, okay, and how many uh, credits does a full-time student take? Twelve. Twelve. You were listening. Well done. <laughs> and so, the associate's degree can set you up to get that bachelor's degree. So let's say you're like, you come to me, we set up an appointment, we talk, and you say, at least I'm, I'm really set on going to Penn West. Okay, you want to go to Edinburgh, Clarion, Cal U, one of those. Great. Do you know that Edinburgh actually accepts all of our credits? So every class that you would take with us could transfer you on. Because let's say after the first or second semester, you see me again, you're like, at least I really like this college thing. I think I'm going to take my talents to Edinburgh. OK, great. You can go on and get that bachelor's degree that takes how long? Four years. Typically. Absolutely. Absolutely. So by starting with us, getting that tuition discount, right, and then going on to that larger institution, you're helping yourself on that. I know you've, you're on Twitter, TikTok, all of those things. The student loan debt that everybody talks about, that is going to help you on the back end. Again, if I only knew then what I knew now, which is why we do these presentations, because we want you to set you up for even more success, okay? You're helping yourself out in the long run. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. You had a question, my friend. How does Bill Wilson have a college 
What's a doctoral degree? Great question. So there are, obviously there's the doctors, the people that check on this, lays, hand, knee, all that stuff, right? But then you can also specialize in education. So I'm currently studying learn, organizational learning and leadership at Gannon University, okay? So that's teaching me, because I don't know, because I still don't know, really know what I want to do someday. I love speaking, if you can't tell, mm -hmm. right? And I also love organizations and how they work and how we can work to help folks like yourself. So this degree is allowing me to study how organizations work so I can be the best leader that I can possibly be. Okay, so that's, so there are many doctoral degrees, that's just mine, but it's always a little bit more specific when you get to that uh, level of education. Yes? Okay, let me say take two years at um, WU College. Do, when you transfer, do you have to take the full four years? Great question. Did everybody hear her question? No. no. So her question was, when you transfer on, what say she, you come to the community college, and this will also make sure I heard you correctly, okay? So when you attend the community college and you're there for two years, and say you transfer on, do you have to restart, essentially? Right? You do not. The whole point on the, of the transfer is, and which is why we try to have conversations with you very early on and often to see where you want to go because we want to make sure those credits do transfer on to that institution. But like I mentioned a little earlier, psychology is psychology is psychology, okay? Math, basic math, basic math, it's the same at every institution. I shouldn't say every, I'll say most, okay? So what we can do is talk with you and say, what are you thinking about taking? What program are you thinking about? So we can talk with that transfer institution to say what transfers, what works, okay? So we can keep you on track to a, so you won't have to duplicate. That sometimes happens, but with us working as closely as we are with some of our neighborhood uh, institutions, you should be all right. Is that helpful? That was a great question, because I think, um, I, I never transferred. Either of you kind of, do you have a transfer experience? Yes. Did they accept, did the institution accept your credits? Was yes. it a community college? Tell a little bit about, yeah. I think that's helpful. I, I, actually, I started out my career at a community college. I'm from um, originally from Chicago, Illinois, and then moved to Gary, Indiana. And I didn't have a lot of support from our school counselor. So mm -hmm. I really didn't know what I was doing. So I actually ended up going from Gary, Indiana, all the way to Kansas for community college, not knowing we had community college right there. But anyway, to make a long story short, it was probably the greatest decision that I that could make. And the reason why, I wasn't used to doing well in school, and they taught me how to do well at the college level. So I spent two years, and then um, I, like you just asked, I transferred into Gannon University after two years. And the beautiful part about it, going to a community college, I came out with no debt whatsoever. And I was fortunate enough to play sports, so I was able to get a scholarship for all you students that don't play sports. A college education is attainable right out of a community college, and you will still be able to start your life out on good financial footing because of the simple fact that you don't have $100,000 in debt going to an institution that um, you're going to come out with that kind of debt and getting a job is going to pay you thirty to forty thousand dollars per year. So a community college education is a great stepping stone, especially for you students right now that may be struggling in your classes and need some additional study skills, some additional soft skills mm -hmm. to get yourself prepared to go into a four-year institution. The other beautiful part about a community college is maybe I don't want to go to a four-year institution right after I'm done. They prepare you for the workforce as well. So now you can go to um, get a job. But the important thing, regardless if you go to a community college or a four-year school, is that as we spoke earlier, you do something. Like Mr. Horton said, you can't graduate high school if you graduate high school and not do anything. You have to prepare yourself either for a community college, a vocational program, career school, military workforce, but you have to do something. You have to do something. 
because if you look at the times that we're in right now, I went to the grocery store the other day and I probably got like five items and it was $90, almost, not quite five. But a pack of cheese, if you go into a grocery store, $7. And it's only going to get worse. So if you can't get some kind of education where you can take care of yourself, come back and help your families, what are you going to do in life? Thank you. Yeah. No, thank, thank you. you. That was amazing. <laughs> So I'll kind of wrap up with this if you don't think I miss anything or if you want to add on is that sure. I think you just heard a great testimonial of what community college can provide you. Um, we had an open house last night and that's just a fancy way of saying we, I guess it's not fancy, but it's a way of saying that we well opened our doors to students who are thinking about being students with us at EC3. And one of our professors spoke to the fact that a lot of folks think community college is lesser than the four-year institutions and it's 13th grade and it's not as academically rigorous. When I talked to some of the students that I helped recruit to get to the college after the first semester, they were like, dang, this, this was really hard. I Because they had that same um, connotation or idea uh, or assumption, I guess is the better term, that that's what the experience was going to be. But they're so grateful to be a part of what the community college is doing. And when I tell you that our professors are so dedicated to the success of the college, because they're excited. They're the first professors ever. We're the first assistants and directors ever, right? So doing this work, we feel really called to it. So you've got passionate people who aren't tenured yet, and that means they've passed and done some papers and all this sort of things that makes them kind of stay at the college forever. We're new, and we're, we're loving what we're doing at EC3, and so we would love for you to be a part if it fits. But I always say, even though my job and full-time gig is higher ed, if it's not for you, that is okay. But you have to do something. We need your faces and ideas and what you bring to the table everywhere, everywhere. We need you to contribute in some way, somehow. Talk about a genius, right? You all are little geniuses. I won't say little, you all are geniuses. Okay, I'll take the little out of there because you're not little, all right? You all are geniuses. Each of you brings something unique to the table and so we need you to contribute that. Right? I wasn't a straight A student. Like I said, I didn't think I was going to go to college. And now look at me. It's because great people were on that campus who believed in me, pushed me to do what I needed to do and get done. And I'm very grateful for that. And so I want to open the floor for any questions, pass it back to Voila. We're, we're here to help. Um, we have some swag here. So folks who ask some good questions, maybe you'll get some some swag. How about that? Alrighty, thank you so much. Yeah. Let's give you a round of applause. But I do want to just add to what um, uh, E uh, mentioned to you about the programs that we offer and what the community college is. Um, in addition to us and the, uh, the instructors, we also have academic advisors that you can work closely with you and help, like help and support you with your academic needs. So if you want to um, schedule a tour at the community college, we have about four different locations. Um, and, and the reason we have it that way is just kind of more accessible for people. Wherever they live, they can go to a location that is closer uh, to them, right? So if you want to schedule a tour, if you want to come and talk to one of our academic counselors, they will be more than happy to help you. They're more personable, more approachable. Um, so, and that's, again, that's what really a community college is about. You know, we have this small classrooms, uh, more one-on-one, -on -one, um, and as Mr. Wright mentioned too, another thing about our community college is more, it's, it's an easy access to the workforce. You know, if you decide that I want to complete two years and move on and, and uh, find a job, we have a workforce coordinator that can actually help you, um, connect you with uh, local um, uh, companies or organizations, manufacturing, and wh whatever you are looking for, they, um, they can help you uh, connect with the, um, you know, connect you, with, you know, for employment. So now, before wrapping up here, I want to hear from some of you. Just raise hands and tell me, like, what, um, what, what is your career goal? What, what are you interested in? Okay, you raise your hand first. Why don't you stand up and so we all can see you and 
Um, introduce yourself and let us know which, where you're interested in. You raised your hand. Come on. <laughs> All right. My name is Jonathan. Uh, my career goal is to be a brain surgeon in the future. And All right. Look at this. My name is Cass Wright, and I want to make sure that each and every student in here get into either community college or four-year school or career school. So reward yourself by working hard this year and getting the degrees that you need to be able to come to these folks prepared for the rigors of what it's going to take to be successful. Thank you. that can really 